This module is used to maintain projects and subprojects for unlimited levels. Allow transition entries and reports by project. To enable it, go to Tools, Program Control, Module Setting. Check the checkbox of Project. This module is available in all editions. OK. Go to General Maintenance, Project Maintenance. Click on New Top Level Project to add a main project. Click to highlight a main project and click on New Sub Project to add its sub project. If you highlight the sub project, you may create its new sub project. This can go on for as many levels as possible. A parent project or any project that carries sub projects or child projects must not have transaction entries. All transaction entries must be created for projects at the bottom level. Projects that do not carry any sub-projects. And all these entries in sub-projects can be summarized and shown in their parent projects reports. Go to Tools, Options, General, Miscellaneous, Default Project. Click on the drop-down button to select a default project for this account book. You'll notice that only those projects that have no sub-project are listed for selection because the project carries a sub-project is a parent project and a parent project must not have any transition entries. Now means not belong to any project. Go to General Maintenance, User Maintenance. Highlight a user, go to Edit User. Click on default value. Here you may assign the default project for this user. Look at journal entry. You will notice that there is a column for project number appear in the transaction entries. And the default project is automatically assigned. Of course, it is amendable. Similarly to other transaction entries, such as receipt voucher, payment voucher, AR receive payment, the project number is assigned here. AR invoice entry, sales invoice, and so on. Most of the reports can be filtered by projects. For financial reports, such as profit and loss statement, if you choose report formats related to project comparison, you may decide which are the projects you wanted to view including parent projects and sub-projects. If you would like to view financial reports of projects for a period of more than 12 months, go to Tools, Manage Fiscal Year, highlight the most recent fiscal year, click on Edit Fiscal Year, change the end date to a later date. Go to GL, Opening Balance Maintenance. Look at default now project. Those opening balances I have keyed earlier before projects are maintained or were not assigned with any project are classified as opening balance for default and now project. To key in or edit opening balance for a project restricted to project that has no sub project attached to it, including default now project, click to highlight a project, then click on edit detail opening balance to key in the opening figures. To maintain year-to-date opening balance, go to GL, Year-to-date balance maintenance. Of course, this is applicable only when your actual start date is not the same as fiscal year start date. Click on this button next to the project view to select a project. OK. Then click on Inquiry to key in or edit the balances. Go to GL, Budget Maintenance. Click on New or Edit to edit the budget amount. When you come to this screen, click on this button next to Project View to select the project. OK, then click on Inquiry. You can key in the budget for this project. Bear in mind that every time you select a project, must follow by an inquiry to refresh. Go to Tools, Options, GL, GL Posting. There are three options that will affect GL entries posting related to project. First, allow not balanced by project 
and department in journal entry. This is to allow the system to save a journal entry that involves more than one project. For example, a journal entry to credit one account, let's say in now project, but debit to expenses account of three different projects. Thus, it is not balanced by project. In such case, if this option is not checked, a message will be prompted upon save and that journal entry is not allowed to save. Secondly, post by the project and department in payment, contra, and refund. For these three types of transactions, the system will post entries according to project assigned during AR or AP payment, contra, or refund, instead of according to projects of the bills to be knocked off. For example, AR payment is assigned with project A but it will knock off against an invoice assigned with project B. So, if this checkbox is unchecked, the posting will be in accordance with the project of the bill to be knocked off. That means project B. Thirdly, post by the project and department in CN. Similarly to the earlier one, but this is on CN, the system will post entries according to project assigned during the AR or APCN instead of according to projects of the bill to be knocked off. So if this checkbox is unchecked, the posting will be in accordance with the project of the bills to be knocked off. There's one more option, go to invoicing, customize invoicing tool. The options of enable post reallocate purchase by projects in invoice, cash sale, debit note and stock issue. This means when stock is issued with these documents in project, the items involved which when purchased was assigned with another project or now project will be deallocated according to the projects of these documents invoice, cash sale, DN and stock issue For example, items were purchased under project A but when these items are sold they are sold using sales invoice under project B and C so this item will be deallocated to project B and C respectively if this checkbox is checked a journal entry will be created by the system to reallocate or to move the related amount of purchases from project A to project B and C. There is another report related to project. Go to GL, Project and Department Profit Margin Report. Define the filter option, set the date range and select the project. No filter means to show all projects. Then click on Inquiry. The profit margin deposits of each project will be listed. That's all for project module. Thank you.